uh, again, you know, that is the, the type we're just discussing right now is the toughest part. And so my advice is the following. First of all, get to really know the person. You know, don't take it lightly. I mean, you know, you might have a most brilliant idea and you kind of have a you know, urge to, oh, let's get started. But you really, really want to get started. It's the best. I, I feel that you get another person for six to 12 months before you become partners. And, and during that time, go to eat with them. Go to their, get to know their family. You know, really get to know them, not just by sitting in, in, at the two desks, but get get to see how they interact with their friends and family. You know, by going to eat with them, see whether they're heavy drinkers or not. You know, you again, you don't want to go with somebody who has some addictive behavior. Uh, see whether they have a supporting family, be it uh, if they're married, it's their spouse. If they're not married, it's their parents. Just see what kind of relationship they have, because it's, you know, the way people re you know, relate to their friends and family, you will get very similar feelings. So really, A, get to know them, right? B, don't be ashamed to structure a strict legal agreement. Uh, there is a saying that, you know, before a couple gets married, um, you know, a good uh, prenuptial agreement is the one that a couple will never look at, right? So, so here it's the same thing. Uh, sign an agreement with a partner. So I really give it a lot of thought and sign an agreement that you hope you will never have to look at. Uh, but have it strong enough so if there are issues come up, there is an easy way to end the you know, it, it just seems like it's so easy to start a business, but when the relationship doesn't go well, it's always impossible, hard to, to break it up. 